<sighs> well, we still haven't played a Mantis ship in like freaking 30 runs or something. So let's see what our next random ship is. Here we go. Random ship in three, two, one, and random. Fedzy, one of the other worst ships. Great, great. I haven't done this one, have I? I've done Fed A, but not Fed C. Ugh, this is a rough day, man. This is a rough day. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. Uh, do I have any other Mantis crew requests here? Uh, any L Nub Nub? No. Mantis border. This will be a Mantis border, so let's put Briggs the Mantis border on this ship. Uh, thank you for getting the uh, prediction. I assume uh, Burger did that. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mantis B Mantis. Mantis B border. Mantis ship Mantis. No. Peter wants to be a rock. No rock. And that's the only Mantis. Okay, I think that's the only things we got here. You would be like to be the useless artillery. You got it. That's all you. I know, Stealthy and Fetzy on the same day. <laughs> this ship is bigly underrated. I mean, if you know how to use teleporter, it's probably not as bad as they often talk about it being, but it doesn't mean I enjoy playing it. <laughs> I feel like I've gotten better at teleporter, but I still don't like this ship. Okay, all right. Um, so we are at eight in a row, right? Did I upgrade my title or update my title? I think I did. Let me make sure. Yes, eight in a row. I updated this. Okay. All right, chat. Here we go. Fed B. So we board with these two guys while keeping the Zoltans on our ship to hopefully have a safe fight with an ion plus basic laser ion mini beam type of thing. Uh. You want to be the NG Zoltan Ultima? Sure. Sure, that's this one. The idea of this ship is way more fun than the execution of it. Yeah. I'm sure the idea was supposed to be board with Zoltans and explode, and that's a terrible idea. That is the wrong way to play this ship. Um, in before free shield hack beam drone first jump auto scout. Okay. So, uh, what do we do with this ship? Uh, we, we board... So I watch FTL, you say this is underrated ship. What what is what is underrated about it? What can we do that makes this ship better? Just the fact that it's boarding with Clombe? You can't rearrange crew in the hot bar, Omni. It's not possible. There's no way to move these around. That's a that's a it's only something you could do in modded FTL. In like hyperspace. I mean, we're not in hyperspace. There's no way to do that in vanilla. Hey, it's that artillery system that's so helpful. Yeah, so helpful. Um, do we insta board on auto scouts? Do we get a missile, a single missile down on auto scouts before they fire? We insta board on auto scouts into weapons, right? Honest question, why not board with the Zultan? Because they suck, Joe Danger. Um, double boarding with Zultans is less damage than boarding with a Mantis and a human, I think. And, uh, besides, if you keep your Zoltans on your ship, if you fight a ship with one ion and one mini beam or one basic laser, you're immune to damage if you move them both to shields. That's the real reason. But, uh, Zoltans actually suck as boarders. Low HP plus exploding does not make them a better border than a Mantis border. Auto ships are safe to board in weapons. Okay, thank you, Britnoff. All right, let's see what we got here. We want an early store? Sell emergency respirators? Oh, we have emergency respirators. That's what actually makes it safe. Okay, I forgot that it started with that. Yeah, crew do same rate of damage to systems. It's not safe if you're a solar flare, though, because then they could just one-shot your clone bay, right? Are oh, you shitting me right now? First jump fucking solar flare with hacking. <sighs> God. I think that's a burst laser two as well. Burst laser two, fucking hacking, solar flare first jump. Yeah, 
max my uh, my artillery. I don't know if this was safe. I might just lose this right here, honestly. Okay, we got the burst laser two offline. Okay, that's good. I don't know if we ever killed this guy, actually. The amount of time it would take to finish him off, man. Uh, crap. I don't think I can vent that quickly enough, can I? Okay, well, I want to vent my crew anyway. Shitty first jump, man. What a shitty fucking first jump. Um, I'm gonna jump back to safe to, to recover from this bullshit fucking first jump. <sighs> so fucking stupid. Solar flare, small bomb, burst laser two, hacking. That was our first fucking jump this run. Go F yourself, FTL. The artillery is about to fire. I don't care. A solar flare is about to fire, and small bomb was probably about to take out my clone bay that was in the middle of cloning my human. So, um, I do not accept your judgment on my play, chat. I do not accept it. All right, let me wait for uh, O2 to come back up. <laughs> Although I, probably you aren't judging my play, but I see people say. Something was about to happen as judgment of you should have done something, but that's just I'm very defensive because it's the freaking internet and everybody tells you what you did wrong every time you do anything. So, ah, still fucking annoying. This ship is so ridiculously bad. Chat trolling streamer, who would have ever thunk that they would do that? So how do I kill a fucking heel bay with boarding ship? Uh, I wait for my artillery, I guess. And I kill their first boarder and hope our artillery hits their heel bay? Or I have to run their crew around while I kill their heel bay? I think I kill their first boarder. And then I eventually have to double board. I'm going to let my first artillery go off. I want to kill their first border. Damn it, of course it's a mantis. Why wouldn't it be? Yes. Okay, this didn't hit anything useful. Alright, so. Oh man. Okay, didn't get damaged a second time. Let me see what the artillery does, because I'm hoping the artillery has the heal bay, which will make this a lot easier. These are not the two hardest Sector 1 fights in a row. There are a lot of harder fights than this. But it's definitely not straightforward bullshit fights like this. Okay. Artillery, you're taking a year. If you could do something, that'd be great. Didn't hit. Okay. It's a 2v1 for a bit, which we don't actually want. This might actually be bad for us. Don't. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, Angie's gonna. I need the Angie to go to heal lane now, actually. Okay, let's. Now we do this. We want the Angie to come back for us. Come on, where's the Angie? There he goes. Purposely take a long time on this. Okay. Now we do this and do this. Okay, there it is. Now they're going to fix the O2, actually, which is kind of crazy. 
Okay. Alright, everybody gets vented. Uh, except maybe you. Everybody else gets vented. Uh, their third tier volley lines up again. Okay. Yeah, the first fight was definitely worse. I mean, a Solar Flare, a Pulsar, an Asteroid Field, those are three of the worst things you can in, uh, get Sector 1. Uh, other worst things would be uh, free shield hack, uh, auto assault ships with offensive drones, uh, auto hackers. Although I think that first run fight, was that an auto hacker at a Solar Flare? Yeah, that's one of the worst. Okay, we got 14 scrap. What do we want? We want shield value on this ship, right? Subscribe Is that what we want first? Thank you for the two months in a row. Keep so bad. Appreciate it. Self be in defense. See, oof, yeah. This is a big oof day so far. Not ideal ships to play for, you know, easy wins. I think we gotta go shields, right? Okay. Uh, reactors. Not that needed, oh, but okay. Maybe I shouldn't have given away those missiles in case we get a, had a small bomb option at the store. Clone Bay protects us here, right? Prepare to board and investigate. I'm pretty sure this is a Clone Bay protection one. One of the many ones I forget. Damn it. This thing that's that is okay. Um, Plumber protects us. Yes. Okay. Nice. Okay. All right. We have a store coming up. But I still think we get shield value, even with store coming up. It's a new feature of Chrome. Yeah, it's been a while around a while, and I don't know how to use that correctly. Okay. Okay, it's fine. We're using uh, whatever this strat is called that I always forget the name of. Safety dance. Not shields, not shields, good. Okay, this should be a one fight now. How much damage we take is the real issue. Ugh. This weapon system in Sector 1 is just bullshit overpowered, man. It's like so many things we've had to deal with this run. Just ridiculously strong BS. Safety dance, yes, we safety danced it. Uh, this feature was enough for you to be discouraged to use Chrome. Yeah, I probably should stop using Chrome, but I'm just it's habit now. Investigate equals save the clone bay. Prepare to board without investigate equals cannibals. Okay. You can dance if you want to. One, two, three. Four. Uh, one, two, three, four. This looks good in six, seven, six. So I need to be here in five. Let's go one, two then. Next Chrome update will force a lot of people over with Manifest version three. I don't know what that is. Another fucking solar flare. Okay. Um, God damn it, another heavy laser too with something good with the heavy laser. Uh, we're safe to damage if I move both my Zoltans into shields, but we're not safe to damage versus the fucking... Uh, solar flare. If I do this, does that force? Okay, that that forces that as well. Okay, but I don't have to move both my guys in there yet. It does double ions. I do though. Okay, it's true. I have to do this actually. Wow, all three of those hit my sh actual ship. That's crazy. Well, that's nice. You can be my pilot, sir. Uh, problem is I can't refresh. 
Okay. Um, can I refresh? Actually, I want rock, boarding, human, pilot right now. That's what I want. That's what I want. I can't safety dance, but that's just better boarding. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, double store. That is not ideal. Um, six, five, four, three. I don't want two stores. Uh, one, two, three. Controlled by stores, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm gonna do that. Delphi into Fed Sea. FTL hates me, apparently. All right, all right. Let's just go ahead and sell emergency respirators and get shields. I think is the play here. Hacking, we don't quite have the scrap for. What can I get with a store with 27 scrap shields? Because I can sell emergency respirators. Is it worth? Is that worth doing? when it makes it da more dangerous for us to board auto scouts. I feel like it's still worth doing. And if there was maybe I uh, no, no, it was Old Shield Bypass, maybe that would have been worth that I could have afforded. I could have bought like a heavy bo uh, small bomb or something, I guess, with 50 scrap. We can do three damage with Rock Mantis without respirators, okay. Okay. Definitely have the power for it, that's for sure. Uh, now what else do we want? Do we want to repair some or am I saving? We've already seen our two stores this sector. So now we want to save for hacking, right? We want to save for hacking. Do we want to do any more, more repairs or fuel? We just save for hacking. Fed needs repairs, it likes getting punched. I think I agree with that. I think I'm gonna do one fuel and like that much healing. I'm not gonna go to max. But I can hopefully get hacking next sector. I'm trusting that this is not a dive. <sighs> if that's a dive with only like three or four pixels to the left of the line, I'm gonna be really sad and that might end this streak. I'm, I'm trusting in that not being a dive. Okay. Quest marker to my map, what we do get, okay. I need weapons for auto scouts and Sultan shields. Uh, I mean, technically, the artillery can very slowly do that, but yes. All right, let's get our training. This is a training ship. This is a training ship. So what are we training? We're training these three guys and not these guys at all. And I probably cross-trained these guys. Yay for safe fight for training. At least this feels better compared to Stealth B. Get our training done earlier. <sighs> but yes, we definitely need weapons to get through Zoltan Shield. The Zoltan Shield bypass could be a thing. It, hacking is the next important thing, most important thing on basically every ship. Well, on basically every boarding ship. But hacking or Zoltan Shield bypass or a way to kill auto scouts. Or Zoltan Shield that doesn't take 50 seconds every volley. Like this artillery does. Technically, the artillery can very slowly, very slowly do that. Is the perfect tagline for artillery? Yeah, definitely. Piloting done. Engines done. How much cross training do I want to do? Well, eventually we're going to want to get slug pilot, so I think it's worth getting the cross training on piling on a human actually because there's shields done so let's get you on shields let's get you on piling while we get human on engines i really don't care about getting rock training on piloting maybe we'll see interestingly dolphin prefers cloaking on this mantis b and others yeah, maybe I'll train the pilot, the rock on pilot, actually, just in case. While we're waiting for the shield guy to get done, I think that'll be worth doing. Let's go see what we're boarding into while we wait for this human and an NG, okay. Alright, there's engines and piloting, good, you go in shields. 
We will be repressing the rock a lot, so I feel like this training's not gonna be that work, but who knows, maybe we'll get a, another rock or a, other mantis randomly at some point here. Okay, all right. It's probably one of two v one the human. Where was the human? The human was in piloting. Two v one the human will make us take the least amount of damage, I think. Maybe. Treat yourself to something after stream. You deserve it after all that FTLs put me through. I mean, my treat to myself basically every day after I stream if I'm not having to go do rehearsal is working out and eating dinner. So, <laughs> holy crap, we do freaking called that. I watch FTL. Um, I don't have an NG though, so we should definitely get an NG. As much as I want to get another boarding crew, NG is too good here. NG is... NGOP. And right, we gotta refresh you guys. Immediately start the refreshing. So where do I wanna put this NG? I guess I can OMD with you. I guess you very slowly get weapon training with artillery fire. Uh, it's probably better to OMD with you than anything else. Treating yourself with food is worth. Treating yourself with food is the best. Living living is awesome. I love living. So do I want to cross train this guy on something if we get another training ship? I'm unsure if I want to do that or not. Okay, this is an escort, I believe. Okay, all right, free stuff is free stuff. Thank goodness and praise R and Jesus, it was not a dive. These guys are going to be running. I hope they don't have. They don't have anti-personnel drone and a bunch of other crew. Okay, okay, this is a safe fight, but they're running, so we have to do a little bit of running around on this one. Even though it's not ideal with the rock, man. I think I might need to board a second time here. Stop them from running just to make sure. Keep them out of piloting. off artillery so it doesn't help. Uh, actually, I don't even need to do it now. We're good. We're good. Um, yeah, they win that. Mantis Rock, too good. Mantis Rock, too good. <laughs> I said, I hope they don't have an anti-personnel drone. Our reward for that fight was a boarding drone. A little ironic and interesting. Food is great, even better if it's pizza. Actually, no. I haven't had pizza for two months because I'm pretty sure me eating too much pizza was part of the reason I was having so many stomach issues. I want to remind you, chat, getting old sucks. One of the main reasons that sucks is because you can't eat the things you like to because it will destroy your stomach. So, uh, I haven't had pizza in a while and I probably will never eat pizza again unless there's some kind of non stomach destroying pizza out there. Uh I think Clone Vapor Protects is on board of the station if I'm not mistaken. Let me look this one up. FTL board the station and look for survivors. Yes. No, Clone Bay has no effect. Uh Clone Bay has no effect. This is the level 2 heal bay. This is why I messed this one up so much. Okay. And we got almost minimum scrap. Amazing. Pirate or abandoned. Ugh. Shave your ear hair, chat. There you go. You had pizza for the first time in a while last week. You're pretty sure it made you sick. Sad but true part of being all the... Yeah. Pizza's good. Pizza's great. We surrender our will as of this date. What sort of stomach pain? Uh, I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> Uh, stomach pain that you don't want to deal with. That causes actual physical issues. Um, man, Abandoned's got the greens, but I can't board on Abandoned. 
you're eating pizza right now, you hope you don't regret it later. There you go. Damaged and dilapidated, do not disturb. Did that say damaged and dilapidated? Because it did. I just read the choices, so I don't remember the same things you all do. All right, there's a store. This nebula would get us an extra jump, but we'd have to backtrack for it. So it's behind my head, the only nebula jump. Is a banner too worth? If I wasn't a boarding ship without Lanius, then absolutely. But I am a boarding ship without Lanius, so I don't think it's worth. Yes, the kind of stomach issues that plant you on the porcelain throne. That is correct. Okay, this is a safe fight. Oh, it's not a fight. It's a escort. Okay. I have learned many things about getting older in the last couple of months that I need to be very smart about what I eat. There are some bad things that can happen to you if you eat the wrong things too often, which I did way too much for the longest time. Um, okay, we do have boarding during the cell as well. Good luck with the runs, lol. Yes, yes. Okay, Astrid Field. Combat drones kill that first. Come on. Oh! Asteroid actually killed that. That was huge. Thank you, Asteroid, for being helpful. And here's where you could argue that this ship is actually better than Mantis B. Because you can actually kill auto scouts, and Mantis B can't with starting build. You could actually argue this this is a better boarding ship than Mantis B because of that. All right, do I board again? Let's let's see what the artillery does, and then we'll decide if we board again or not. You found out that pesto after your digestion, but barbecue sauce based pizzas were fine. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the shields. This will end it quicker. Oh, maybe I should have gone for drone control. It might repair. That's oh, will hopefully be okay. I don't want to go too deep into the whole what messes up your stomach because it's too gross of a topic that I don't want to get deeper into. That's kind of in the range of TMI. I don't know why I did that when I was going to vent him anyway. All right, well, the asteroids have apparently turned off and all of his offense is back online. Okay, there we go. Oops. Mantis B has a drone though, but it can't. Can, but it can go into piling. Oh, I guess that's true. That's true. It's always the nicest food that messes up your stomach. It really is. It really is. If you have stomach pain, check if you have H. pylori, the bacteria that causes stomach ulcers. It may save you a lot of trouble later. You went through that. It's worth checking. Well, I'm actually I'm going to a doctor for part of my stomach issues early next month. So maybe I'll find out some of that stuff. That's a heavy laser. No hacking. That's also a small bomb. Pesto is notorious for causing digestive issues. How you have figured out the pizza problem for you? Cauliflower pizza crust. It worked for you. Interesting. Uh, so it's probably small bomb, right? What if we bought both heavy laser and small bomb? That way small bomb helps our boarding and heavy laser gets through Zoltan shields. I kind of want both. I have enough scrap. I need to buy some fuel. Oh, we have a second store, though. What if that store has hacking? What if that store has hacking? Um, we could go one, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'd have to dive. Hmm. Small bomb is hard better than hacking in the bush. Oh, small bomb in hand better than hacking in the bush. I gotcha. This is too good for boarding on ships with heel bay. Home bay. I'm definitely going to get that. Um, are you in that position? 
So I'd have to now I'd have to sell something even to get hacking. So I'm gonna say if we miss out on hacking, sad times. But this lets us get through Zoldan Shields, and this makes it so we're not running out of fuel. I think I think we take these two good things that can help us, and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if there's hacking there, we say darn, we missed it. You actually have an appointment with a GI doctor next week as well. All right. Okay, boarding clone bay and a mini beam. Okay. Let's let's kill his boarding first. We shoot at his weapons during that. Okay. Uh, you are kind of low on health, though, sir. Good. Now I'm going to send you here. Oh, God. Okay, mini beam down. Holy crap, that's a really good deal. <laughs> uh, and I can sell that at the store. It's minimum scrap, but that sells for what? Like 30 or something? Who knows? Maybe we get two free Vulcans in a row. A free defense, two drones. Pretty darn good, honestly. As you've gotten older, your stomach is fine, but your ankles are miserable. Never ending Achilles tendonitis. That sucks. 35? Okay, that's definitely more than we're getting for, for crew killing, I think, so we're doing that. And then we can safely refresh our crew by doing this. We get to see them just hang out and not fight in there, which is always an awkward thing. God, I did not mean to move you guys out of the clone bay. <laughs> Thank God the ion wore off before I hit enter there. Whoopsie. Could have been really bad. Okay. All right, I'm going to a store. Not enough for hacking, but it's the best you'll get. Yeah, there's no way I got more than that. Okay, well, I didn't miss out on hacking. Enough for Zoltan Shield Bypass? Oh, <laughs> what? Okay. All right, well, best augment in the game for boarding ship. Another, wow, that's two stores with a small bomb and heavy laser. That's crazy. All right, we just get Zoltan Shield Bypass, and now the heavy laser might be redundant. But, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I'm going to buy two fuel again, because fuel on a boarding ship is kind of the meme of running out of stuff. We can even use that with small bomb and teleporter. That's so good. That's actually so good. Maybe these will do work eventually. Yeah, I don't. I don't actually um, dislike that I bought it. But told you the ship was amazing. I mean, because we got good stores and good free crew. I, I don't know if I would count that as this being a good ship. But maybe rescue the store. I have to dive for that or skip this one. So is it better to rescue a store or is it better to escort a ship? Oh, I'm not keeping. I'm not selling the heavy laser, that's for sure. I can never afford hacking unless I get like a really good free drop from here. So I think I actually skip the rescue the store. Ship escort can be a ship fight. It could also be free power. It could be... Maybe actually I should do rescue store because that's guaranteed ship fight, right? This one is like free stuff, power upgrade in a store, ship fight trap. I feel like there's other things I wouldn't like as much. Man, I wish I could do both. If this quest was at any of these beacons, I could have gone there. Only I could get this nebula to give me an extra jump. Ship fight, high scrap, reactor, or five repair in a store. That's what this the store the uh, escort is. Right, let me think about that as we go to one more jump here. Let's be a hero, it's a safe fight. Let's see what we're boarding into. Two mantis and a clone bay. Okay. Um, okay, 
Yeah, that makes it easy. I could have maybe done that without using a bomb, but just go ahead and use it. Weapon training? Um, actually, yeah, we could, couldn't we? Okay, that's a great idea. I'm gonna purposefully... Well... He's gonna repair his clone bay. That's fine, that's fine. Yes, uh, weapon training is a huge... It's a great idea. Good call. Good call on that. I guess I could cross-train somebody else, too, if I want to, like, rock on piloting. Did I already do that? I did, but he lost it. That's fine. Okay. So... Should just be that one one mantis. The other one will take. He won't actually clone. He won't run. Okay, so this is fine. NG weapon training. I want to cross train anybody else though. Is the question? Probably not. Weapon training takes a while, so you have to do how many shots? 65 times two. What is that? 130 shots or something like that. Human would be a little bit faster. Do I care about getting human? You know, actually, I think cross training human on weapons and NG on piloting might not be the worst. So I think I will actually do that. So let's put you on piloting. And I might even get you engine training here as well. By the time the weapons get finished training. Story time. Uh, I don't know. With speed hack, I feel like it's not going to take long enough for me to think of a good story time. NG training. True, NG training. Oh, with the faster piloting, I mean, faster human training, and the uh, rare dodges, the weapons actually happen to time out right at the same. Okay. All right, so uh, we should be able to do this by just boarding in clone bay. Kill him, and then delete clone bay before he can, unless it's level two, it's possible. It is, damn. Still probably get it in time. Nice. No double reward either. Damn. Well, we took literally zero damage that second. Uh, boarding, that's nice. Kill mantis and punch shields you can kill without another bomb. Uh, there were many ways to kill without another bomb, and I'm, I think we, I think that one worked. You need some clone bay training. Tell us tales of your misspent youth. Uh, I've told many of those. I don't really have any good ones right now. Uh, so this is the guaranteed ship fight and store. I don't really have anything to sell, right? No, I want to keep all this stuff. Let's just go one, two, three, four. Let's take the escort. Preparing another store. Well, damn, that's the third heavy laser we've seen. And I think the third backup battery. I just keep buying fuel, man. I swear, I've, I've bought out all the fuel at every store, and I'm still not doing that well on fuel. What are my rewards from these boarding jumps? I guess it's crew and not fuel. Oh, great rewards. Ugh, frickin' free humans with no snacks. You deserve all of the venting and death and pain and suffering that you get to experience and suffer and have pain through here. I gotta refresh you guys. I don't think I want to refresh my other guys with their training that they have, though. Happy heavy laser day, apparently. On this ship, anyway. I mean, shield training care that much about losing shield training. You're really low. I'm going to refresh you. Shield training is the one I care the least about. Everyone else, I'll let them refresh. I mean, I won't make them refresh. Okay. We should have a decent number of distress beacon blue options here. 
Is there any open crew? Yes. Uh, there's a rock. There's a mantis. Damn it. That could have been a free... <laughs> free weapon becomes free hull damage because this game sucks. Unless there was somebody that was on... I forget if there was somebody in the queue. Burger, help me remember. You want to be the rock pixel man? Okay. You got it. Have we missed anybody, Burger, or are we caught up? I'm good. All right. Thank you. Uh, the Mantis is already claimed, Cotier, so I'm going to make you the NG. Mantis was claimed at the beginning of the run. Sorry to tell you. Okay. Can I have a ship fight? No, but I can have a trade that I don't care about. It's honestly probably a decent trade, but I'm using my missiles, so I'm going to decline. All right, this was a terrible sector, too. That was really bad. 70-something in total. Oh, and our choices are abandoned. Three are uncharted. Ugh, Jesus, man. Uh, can I board abandoned with this build? I mean, we can board auto scouts fairly safely, right? So I guess we go uncharted. I don't have long range scanners. Do I go uncharted so I have a chance for civilian afterwards, or do I go abandoned and try to board O2 less Lania ships? Most of them will have two ships, yeah. Ah, Sector 3 abandoned with a boarding ship. I just don't love it. If I still had emergency respirators, maybe, but... I'm gonna go Nebula. I have to use a lot of bombs to take out clone base, potentially, yeah, potentially. I'll get a force Nebula after this anyway, yeah. All right, rock blue option. That's great. Ooh, 32 free scrap. Holy shnikes, that's good. Okay. So our only chance at a non-nebulous door is here and here. And exit beacon is down below here. So this could be a very good sector for making some scrap if it's not just a bunch of empty jumps. I know, nebula now or nebula later. That's our choices. Okay, attack the pirate. Heal bay. Oh, God. Okay, I was gonna say Sector 2, 2 shield ship, but this is not a Sector 2, 2 shield ship. Um, still, freaking OP ship here. Um, I'm gonna board right as the small bomb is about to fire to take out their heal bay. And then safety dance to pull people is the plan. Okay, that, that kind of worked. Hopefully I don't have to use any more. The problem is they have a lot of crew. Let me safety dance a bit. Okay, that should be the win. We're good. I think we're good. I think these weapons, even though they're pretty good, weren't amazingly strong. Okay. All right, we got a free weapon. Still no fuel, but, you know, I'll take a free weapon. We're just going to be fuelless this entire run. You know, a normal boarding run in FTL. You leave ships behind full of fuel, and you don't take any of their fuel because reasons. I got more scrap on that event than I did in a Sector 8 ship fight. Okay. Wasn't the safe with Zoltans? Uh, not 100%, but I could have moved my double Zoltans into shields. They could still... They could still Ion, then Basic Laser, and Pike Beam in the perfect order and take damage. It would have to be pretty lucky. Had to be pretty lucky with us not moving our Zoltans for it to do damage either, so... Alright, no store there. I'm saving for hacking. That's our goal. Save for hacking. But don't spend any scrap. Upgrading weapons would be nice. Could sell stuff. Hacking. Auto scout. 
I don't know if I was fast enough there. It might have been too slow. Good damage missile. Oh, it's a good dodge, it, though. It's a good what effing the dodge. Actual fuck? It's a two damage missile, yeah. Okay. Start charging heavy laser. So I can fire heavy laser when the artillery goes off. If you could breach the uh, missile, that would actually be. Oh, damn, he's gonna get this shot, uh, this shot off before, isn't he? God, artillery, you suck so bad. You're so slow. Okay, that's breached. Okay, we can't take damage now. So I can just wait this out. <laughs> We did breach the uh, did breach the weapon, so that missile will never come back online. If that was aimed at Clone Bay. That would have been one, if not two, crew loss. Oh my gosh, was it really? Poo! Well, praise our own Jesus that that didn't happen. Well, I might have been able to bring him back. I could have got the Rock Man back in time if that happened before. I didn't even notice that. Didn't even notice that. We definitely need um, backup DNA bank if we if we are offered that. Praise Orange Jesus for the dodge then. Okay, all right. There's a store I can sell Ion Blast for hacking. Do I want to get more scrap before I check it? Um. What if there's hacking and backup DNA bank? I think I do want a little bit more scrap before I go here. Could have done weapon training. My weapons are maxed. Do you see? Do you see? They are maxed. Ah, uh, frickin' rigor. Um... Okay, so I can small bomb their weapons. The problem is if they have offensive drones or anti-personnel drones, I think we still attack. Shift one, two. Okay, oh god, they got doors, okay. Okay, missiles down at least. There might be a fire on our ship. I should pull their crew from repairing, hopefully. Okay, good. Only three crew? Perfect. All right, we took one damage. Not too bad. Not too bad. A <laughs> free firebomb. God. Now we're getting all the free weapons from boarding. I mean, it's good. We have a store to sell that at, so I'm, I'm glad. We're just never going to get fuel. We're going to get all the free weapons and no fuel. Double rock boarding time. Mm, yeah, probably not. Look at all the fuel we have. Did I get any fuel? I don't think we got any fuel. I think you might be memeing on me, maybe. I think you might be memeing on me, maybe. Memeing on me, maybe, baby. Okay. Uh, do -do -do -do. Uh, so, the only other chance for stores here. Yeah, one more jump in the store. It's agreed. So, me, 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 baby. So me, 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 me. Attack the pirate. Heal bay again and cloaking. Damn it, man. How many freaking two shield pirate slugs with heal bay and cloaking are going to fight this sector? That's two at least. Ooh. Got a mantis. Not ideal. Nice. Perfect. Oh, Jesus, he did the full volley. Okay, good dodges at least. Don't kill my clone bay. Don't kill my clone bay, please. Okay. Okay, that, that laser's down. All right. 
Now the Clone Bay hit would actually be disaster. So the extra bomb to save our clone, that's good. We got a map. Ooh, a map in uh, Uncharted Nebula. That's actually huge. Uh, I don't think I want to refresh my non-border guys. I don't think, although I probably should. But I have, I do have a store, so at least one free jump to refresh them or to get some free heals. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> All right, so that is a store. So we do have a second store. That's nice. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Uh, do I want to get the two ship fights? One, two, or do I want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Eight, nine, ten. That might not even be a dive, and we'd get both stores. Yeah, we have a couple different ways to do this. Let's get the two ship fights before the store. Let's go full greed mode for the store. Although, if that's, uh, if that's manly search, I want that. Hmm... Who has a map in Uncharted? It's in the name. It's Uncharted. Somebody who cheats, that's who. So many different ways we could do this. All right, let's go to the store here first. So we get hacking, we might not even want to go to the other store. Long range scanners. Interesting. Uh, no uh, backup DNA bank. Probably the slugs have that cheating because they're cheating ass slugs, cheating BS ass. Yes. <laughs> Do I buy this slug for the uh, mind control counter, for the mind control protection? Start getting training now. That might be worth doing right now. We have protection. Phase three of the boss, mind control shenanigans. The existence of uncharted nebula implies the existence of a charted nebula. Charted nebula, again, another thing that does exist in RPG Nerdos mods. I think I am going to buy the slug and maybe even the long range scanners. No, I don't have long range scanners. I do not have those, sadly. You can do this now. Uh, I think I'm going to buy long range scanners. I'm just thinking about other stuff, too. We have another store. I got to buy fuel. Problem is, long range scanners gives us zero value this sector, but the rest of the sec the rest of the run. Who am I kidding? I'm buying it. I love long range scanners. Um, I'm never using Firebomb. Am I ever using Ion Blast Mark II? There might be a world where I use that. For blue events too. I think a lot of the uh, long range scanner blue events, well, some of them I think Teleporter and Slug already cover. So it's less for the blue options. <clears throat> And it's more for the uh, future sector scouting. Firebomb rockboarding is scary. I, I don't even think it's that good, chat. People meme about it. It's only good if you can wait however many seconds it takes for that to fire, and then they don't dodge it. And then and then you... I, I just don't even think it's that good. Unless you have pre-ignited firebomb. I just don't find it that useful. All right, other fuel. I don't think I buy Pike Beam or anything here. I think I'm gonna do nothing else. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, potentially seven, eight, nine, dive. And hope we get store for hacking for the dive to be safer. Okay, shieldless auto scout. Pretty decent weapons, honestly. Do I board? No, nah, heavy laser fires fast enough. I'm gonna not board. Got the double Zeltan ion protection, at least for a little bit of something. Nice. 
Now it's a safe fight. Beautiful. Do I want to train piloting then? Uh, did I did I breach? I didn't breach, did I? Um, dodge training all my slugs. What I'm thinking about. How's this run going? It's alive. Dodge training on my slug. I would basically have to do two damage with a breach when we when they're at full repair training, at full full weapons. Oh, my artillery's online. <laughs> artillery's helping. Whoops. Okay. Uh, I can get a little bit of training here if I just delay this a little bit. If we get any dodges, that is. I don't want to go too crazy with this, though. The heathen besmirches the rock fire meme. Excommunicate. Firebomb is the second best weapon in the game. First fire beam, second fire bomb, third fire drone. Okay. Pre-ignited firebomb sounds ridiculously enough to be meme worthy. Yes, definitely meme worthy. Okay, alright. I think this is worth getting a couple dodges. It's not worth speed hacking their weapons all the way back to full. Oh, that remaxed her shields, though. Um, you're both shield trained. Okay. Come on, give me the doges. Before the ion comes back up and actually makes us take potential damage. Okay. One dodge is good. One dodge per volley. I'll take that. With fast firing chain laser, I'll take it. Yeah. When the ion fires, I'm finishing him. Which is. Oh, I. Sh oh, he blocked my shot. Oh, punished. Oh, I might be punished. Oh god, and he cloaked time perfectly. Okay, I'm I'm punished for my dodge training greed. Somehow his perfectly timed shots blocked my shit. And then did more damage. Okay, well that sucked. I took like three damage I shouldn't have taken there. Oh my god. Sir, you left us at the store. The firebomb when we sold our firebomb. Could have had double firebomb. Okay. Uh Stop selling firebomb. No. No, I'm going to keep selling it. I don't care. God, auto scout running away, big giant missile. Um, so I think we board piloting small bomb weapons, which doesn't get the missile offline, does it? Probably boarding weapons doesn't get the missile offline in time either, does it? Jesus, freaking running away. The only good thing is he doesn't have cloaking. God, don't missile my, don't missile my clone bay for the love of God. Don't missile my clone bay. Ah, yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck you, FTL. Okay, Fuck okay, you, okay. man. Come on. Okay, okay. Alright, uh... We didn't breach his weapons, I don't think. Ah, oh, Jesus. Thank you for the follow. Rocky. Big giant missiles, man. Just they just suck. Oh, he's running, he's running. Okay. Come on, Flack. I need you to not fail horribly. Perfect. Okay, good. Ten scrap. Goddamn forward scouts, man. Goddamn forward scouts with goddamn missiles. <laughs> Another one of the cheatiest things in the game. Low rewards for high risk of a lot of bullshit to happen. Right, we have enough for hacking. I kind of need all those consumables, though. What's the value of this? Missiles cost six at a store, so that's uh, 12 scrap missiles for 
15 scrap worth of fuel. I mean, it's kind of good, but... Give me side grade everything. Okay, all right. This is a safe fight, so I can train something if I want to. Um, I can train my dodges and get our slug pilot trained. Nerdy Fiona, thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, nerdy raiders. Maybe I can do this in a way they don't have to use a missile, too. Um, uh, so he won't board again now. Because we killed his first boarder. So, in order to do this without using a missile, I need to do some running around shenanigans. Um, so I want to do that with probably NG and human after Slug is fully trained. Nerdy Raid, nice, nice. Welcome, Nerdy Raiders. FTL, yes, FTL. In the, fir in the FTL wiki, the first entry in the comments about the Fed C is about how good Fed C is. <laughs> That's so good, chat. If the wiki says it has to be true. All right, so that is uh, dodge training done. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do some weird shenanigans where we do um, safety dance. To kill she uh, heal bay without using a small bomb. I have my small bomb ready in case we need to use it. But hopefully we don't need to use it. Hopefully this will only be level one heal bay. Uh, yeah, heal bay. Damn, it's level two. Okay, this should work though. Should get that down before they're over here. Unless it's a level three heal bay. Oh my god. Okay, use a damn bomb. I think that might have been level three heal bay or some BS. I lost a little bit of training. It's fine. It's fine. Just annoying. Okay, good. Had to use a bomb anyway. Well, at least I only had to use one bomb, because if that was like a level 3 heal bay, I might have had to use two if I hadn't done that. I don't know. That's because FC is a great ship. Honestly, it's better than I used to think it was, just because... As I've improved my boarding micro and understanding how to manipulate enemy AI, use hacking with teleporter. I still hate the artillery. I'm never going to like the artillery, but the fact that you have a clone bay and a board and a teleporter means it's not as bad as some other ships. You two refuse to use missiles whenever possible. Missiles are not my favorite. Let me name some of my least favorite things. Artillery, missiles. That's a couple of them. All right, do we have a store coming up? We do. Do I go here? I'm committing to a nebula dive <sighs> with no cloaking. If we get hacking from the store, nebula dive is not the worst. If we don't get hacking, it could be painful. If you let your guys die, uh, Clone Bay brings them back, but at what cost? At the cost of their souls. It's a good price, though. Good price. Souls are cheap. Um, I forgot that I dislike humans, bio beams, and force drone control. True, true. Not a big fan of math either. <laughs> um, if we have exit beacon dive, and I don't have hacking, would we? Could we die? I could do a big repair if we don't get hacking. If we don't get hacking, I could do a repair and maybe some dodge, some engine upgrades. So I'm going to commit to the dive. How much power will we have in a half power? Not as much as I'd like. I do have the double Zoltans and shields. So four. One, two, three. So we'll have this much power. This much power. We hope this is manly search because it's just free stuff. Delta B is your favorite ship. You don't care if it's terrible. Well, that was the first ship we played today, and it was pretty terrible. All right, Manly Search. Beautiful. Mr. Booga. Welcome aboard, Mr. Booga. 
You are a silly device. Are you actually a silly device? Yeah, I guess you are. You are a silly device. Well, we are maxed out in crew in Sector 3? Wow, that's kind of crazy. Maybe I shouldn't have bought that slug. Oh well. Stealth B is a ship that's good for new players because, you know, you can one-shot things, but new players are usually playing on easy difficulty where it's less punishing. It's still punishing, but less hard mode. But it's just the higher level and higher difficulty you play, the worse and worse Stealth B feels. All right, well, this is another free crew. I shouldn't have bought the slug. All right, who are we Who are getting rid of? Which human is getting out of here? We only have one. And our human has all of the training, though. All right, well, let's let me have uh, immunity to mind control in either engines or someplace else. If I want to put you in weapons right now, we could maybe have immunity to mind control and weapons and piloting. That could be useful. Did I cross-train you in engines? I did, right? Oh, I didn't. So some cross-training might be needed here. I know, just so many free crew. Why can't I hold all this crew? Gotta love no human ship? That's right, gotta love it. So we know that this is not manly search. This is gonna be a fight of some sort, so... Uh, I'm gonna not do any upgrades. I'm greeting because we have a store coming up. Oh god, he's got a missile in the clone bay. There's missiles down at least. Artillery down, that's fine. Actually, I do want to do a secondary boarding party. Oh uh, man, my missiles are a little low. It's hard to do a secondary boarding party with. Um, it's very good with NGs. Oh, there's a fire in there. Okay, you go fight in the fire. Do that. Okay, they refuse to fight in the fire. Okay. <laughs> That's true. You should refuse to fight in the fire. All right, I got two missiles back, though. That's good. Uh, the two bonus missiles back is very nice. All the crew. Is this FTL trying to make up for the last ship? I guess so. The body trail in your wake continues to grow. It is infinite. It's the number of humans floating behind my ship is an infinite trail of fleshy breadcrumbs. Can you claim the new slug? Sure thing. Sure thing. That would be... Just remember to pay the cookies. Avalanche. Artillery is down. Oh no, artillery is down, said Rand. Never. <laughs> Actually, I don't even have to dive if I go 1-2, so let's not dive for an empty Uncharted Nebula jump. Sounds good. Fleshy bread breadcrumbs. Yes, they're delicious. Alright, we get the hacking. Beautiful. Uh, no, um, backup DNA bank, sadly, but just getting hacking is almost GG. Fleshy breadcrumbs is gonna stick with you, alright. <laughs> Uh, I mean, they stick to the inside of your mouth, too. Uh, all right, I'm not keeping that. Um, I should probably get hack two and power here. Today you learned how to pay with cookies. Nice. Also kind of want to get a weapon. Upgrade. And hack to. I guess I could do both and just not the power yet. I think I like this. So I buy a drone part. I have eight drone parts. Going into sector four. We're going to be basically hacking and boarding every single fight, so I probably should buy a drone part. I could sell the Ion Blast to. I'm just. I'm putting it off until I just really need to spend that scrap on something. I think I'll hold off. I think I'll hold off. Um. Well, we 
we do have Zoltan Shield Bypass for Zoltan Boarding, but I kind of just never want to go to Zoltan Homeworlds or Zoltan Sectors at all, right? So I think we go Slug. I think we go Slug. I do have long range scanners, yes. Bottom in the last sector. Always slug with long range scanners. I almost think it's always slug even without long range scanners. Unless your other choice is like civilian, which is one of the best, or maybe rebel stronghold, then you're really strong for under construction flagship fight. Slug is just good in general, yeah, for scrap gains, it really is. All right, heavy laser two and a fire beam. I think I can do this fight without using any consumables. What's the charge time? 16 and like 21 or something like that. So. Hmm, how do I want to do this? I want to board in 02, I think. I don't think these time out super well. I'll be ready to board a second time if needed, though. Good. Dodge means we're definitely safe. I don't think my two guys beat four guys, so let's do this. There we go. We want you guys to tank because we're going to refresh you anyway. Oh, damn. Okay, they did get one bit of fires through. Should be fine, though. Should be fine. All right. Very nice. Calculated. Jack, calculated. A little fire just to, you know, warm up the shield room. It's getting cold in there with those... Soulless Zoltans hanging out all the time. Heart of Ice, those uh, Zoltans have. Heart of Ice. Medbay, Preigniter. Right, the only augment we really want is backup DNA bank to protect our crew from dying. So, uh, I think we just buy all the fuel and continue to save up scrap for uh, weapons, I think. Pre-igniter. If we found a breach bomb, pre-igniter would be awesome, but I don't actually have a pre-igniter. I mean a breach bomb. Or enough scrap to buy a pre-igniter. Let's just buy all the fuel. More crew. I should totally get more crew. Soulless, but those Zoltans are full of energy. It's a soulless energy. Do I really want to keep holding on to this ion blast? I guess I'm going to hold on to it until I see a weapon I actually want. I guess that's what I'm I could sell the ion for power, I guess. I guess I could. We're guaranteed another store this sector, so... Say no here. guys should run, right? Like, that guy will leave, I think. I pulled the pilot. It did not. I was hoping to make him less likely to dodge. Um. Damn, I gotta use another bomb to kill his clone bay, don't I? I think I do. Okay. That works. Not ideal, but it works. NG boarding party, man. NG boarding party. This way, and I can, like, let one guy or two. Oh, I let all three in. Okay. Whew, dolphin flip just in time. All right. Ah, oh, God, I guess I'm refreshing all these guys. <laughs> Man, these are... There's a lot of crew on these enemy ships. That's the, that is the that is the one bad thing about slug sectors, I would say. Well, there are some bad things, like wearing radiation event and stuff, but 
Boarding slugs can be a pain in the ass, because they usually have at least four crew in every ship, which is annoying. Yeah, we got Chad NG over here, boarding all the time. We got a Chad NG over here. Okay, so that's not our non-nebulous door. If there's going to be one, it's going to be up here. If I go to distress, I feel like I have a lot of blue options for distress, and I feel like I also want power, so I'm going to do that. What was the ship before this run? Frickin' Stealth B. We're shipping streaking, streaking streaks. Alright, so the slugs want help, so we kill the mantis. Get double reward. Right, his weapons aren't that good. But I probably still hack weapons to keep him from getting to the heal bay. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I'd rather use a hacking drone than a, uh, than a bomb here, I think. Let's let him board once and then we'll hack. And you can train in the meantime. Okay. Two v one the mantis. This one might actually time out, so I'm going to hack it now. Beautiful. Alright, leave him off for the free bonus stuff. Wait, what did I- Oh, no, I'm supposed to finish them off. I said leave them off. Ah, <laughs> damn it. I just passed on free stuff by my brain breaking. God damn you stupid ass slugs. Ah, oh, that's just that's just scrap floating in the wind there I left behind. That is a complete and utter mistake. That was a m complete misclick. Leave them I finish them off, not leave them off. What the hell am I saying, man? God damn it. God damn it. That's a complete and utter waste of scrap. Hopefully we're far enough ahead that won't matter, but it feels terrible to make a stupid little mistake like that. Look forward to seeing that run on YouTube. There was, there was definitely some trolley ships, that's for sure. Leave them off. I feel like I've said that before and almost clicked on the wrong thing before, but that time I actually clicked on the wrong thing. I don't know what's wrong with my brain sometimes. It just... It, it, there's a little bit of dyslexia going on in my brain or something. That was just... Just a complete and utter misplay right there. God damn it, that's annoying. Really annoying. That's probably a 20 to 30 scrap I just missed out on. Okay, clone ban and missile. Fuck. Um. I can small bomb his clone bay, but depending on how much crew he has, if that... Ah, this is a bullshit overpowered ship. Jesus Christ. First laser 2, probably an Artemis. Clone bay, 3 shield, and Zoltan shield. What a dumbass ship. Stupidly overpowered. Should I even fight this? Yeah, the slugs hacked my brain. Should I even fight this? I know I have Zoltan Shield Bypass, so I can take out the clone bay and fight them. The problem is that they have ridiculously strong weapons while I'm trying to slowly kill their crew. Now, I didn't buy the Zoltan Shield Bypass for this reason, Ultima. We bought it for Phase 3 of the boss. And ships like these, if we hit them. God. Poor crew. Fuck you, FTL, and you're a piece of shit. Fucking piece of shit is what you are. <laughs> Fucking Artemis makes this fight completely not worth it. I swear. Okay, move around a bit. Oh, fuck you, FTL. Fuck you.
Wow, big surprise. Oh, he dodged just bait. enough for me to do Finish him before he fires damage. again, you stupid, you stupid borders. Finish him. Jesus. Fuck uh, you, FTL. What the hell? Come on. Uh, yeah, I don't think that was worth it. I shouldn't have taken that shitty fight. I knew, I knew the fucking minute I saw that was a goddamn Artemis. I knew I shouldn't have taken that fight. I was like guaranteed Artemis when it's uh, only two weapons like that. Absolutely not worth the reward. Fucking Artemis missiles are so imbalanced, man. Ah, Jesus, stacking ions. Should have left them off. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, just like those other slugs, should have left them off. Do I need to refresh you guys? You have like no training, yeah. Just, just. I keep boarding with these guys as a secondary boarding. I might as well do this. I left off the wrong guys, chat. I left them off the wrong guys. Free heavy iron with the side of fu, yeah. Get extra dodges. These missiles are just always a thing that kick our ass every time. Not doing great on missile numbers either. Someone left them off the bomb. That's right. Jesus, blade beam. Okay. Uh... Okay, Blade Bla Bla can only do one damage, so they can't kill my clone bait. Okay, we took two damage there. Saving, I say, I, I traded a bomb for the whole damage that I knew was incoming there. Traded a bomb for whole for uh, whole damage. That's two whole damage we took. We're guaranteed at least one other store this sector too, I believe. And I'm never gonna get this slug that I keep refreshing any uh, weapon training. I need to just refresh the, the rock too. Just need to. He's one of my main borders. I'm be tanking all the time. I still haven't seen our second store yet. Rock takes a year to vent. crazy on Tuesday we got two runs in in like less than four or five hours our two runs today are probably gonna take about six hours it's crazy how much slower like stealth B and boarding ships are than you know ships that start off with actual non terrible weapons All right. Uh, okay, this is the uh, so this is the one where crew killing actually does get you a better reward. You crew kill before they run away. That's the best reward. So eight, seven, six, five. Uh, one, two, three, and then a bunch of jumps before going down here. Okay. Crap ships are so exciting to watch, though. Yeah. Exciting to watch, not fun to play. That's how I would describe them. Missile down. Auto-firing you. Yeah. So they can't get through. I don't know 
if I let them hit that room too many, that door too many times. Got him. Nice. Good. Drone part, but no missile. All right. I am running low on missiles, man. We need to buy some missiles from this store. Um, uh, slug death audio sounds like someone who just ate a Mr. Beast burger. <laughs> okay. You could rather watch paint dry instead of playing stealth B. Good job. There's a six hour movie about paint drying you could watch. Really? There's a, there's a movie about paint drying? Is it a meme or is it a real movie? Sounds like a meme. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Something like that is my thought. It's pretty good. Okay. Greeting as much as we can before the store in hopes it doesn't kill us. If we get if we get worrying radiation, that is what we're afraid of. We're afraid of worrying radiation. Is there anything I could do versus worrying radiation? I haven't got the level two oh two. Oh man, I'm just gonna continue to greed. Someone made a six hour paint drying movie to annoy the film classification board because he was angry about something. Okay. Oh god, mind control, clone cloak clone bay and missiles. Okay. Need him to not kill that. Um, fuck you and your dodges. Fucking hell, man. I have to use another freaking small bomb. Failed that. Oh, uh, this could be bad. Okay. have two missiles left, man. Oh my god, don't be a level three clone bait. Okay. Stop fighting them, okay. Fucking Artemis fucking missiles, man. Hits my clone bay right now. I lose my N. I lose this NG. <laughs> okay, he didn't. Okay. Well, four health. You know, calculated bullshit. <laughs> Fucking hell, right now, man. This is so stupid. Fucking Artemis missiles are so goddamn unfair and imbalanced. And we have fought how many ships with them this sector? Like fucking twenty or some bullshit. I don't even know how many we fought. Not 20, I'm sure it's only like 3 or something, but it feels like 20. Fucking Artemis missiles are so goddamn overpowered and bullshit and unfair and imbalanced. Let's go to the store. Really hoping for uh, reconstruct, not reconstructive, whatever that thing is that I want. Um, who can I lose training on? You go fix that breach. So we did not see another store, so we do not get a third store this second. Okay, good to know. Backup DNA bag. That's the thing I was hoping for. Explosive replicator. You know what? I might need to buy that. Repairs missile and explosive replicator. That's probably the purchase here. Low on missiles, and the missiles are, like, our main weapon here. God damn it. Fucking missiles, man. Fucking missiles. <sighs> I will never not hate missiles in FTL. I will never not be frustrated by them. Are there any other breaches? Okay, we fixed all the breaches. Get rid of the damn ions and 
not using them. I'm gonna get some dodges and maybe hacking three. That puts us at effectively like 12 missiles or something. Using missiles is great until you aren't able to pivot into anything else before you run out. Well, and the thing, well, the, the thing is, with this ship, we're a boarding ship. We're not a, we're not a gunship. So, we can kill the boss with just boarding, especially with Zoltan Shield bypass. We can kill the boss with just boarding. Um. So, why am I saying that? Am I justifying buying all these missiles? Do I buy even more? Or do I just get hacking three? Maybe engines and dodge. Um, what helps my boarding? Hacking three seems to be the best thing for helping my boarding. We're only in sector four. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get hacking three. I don't have backup battery yet. This store doesn't have backup battery, does it? No. Well, we either if we get engines to dodge more missiles, then why don't I just hack three so I can hack their weapons for even longer? That's probably better. Or buy more missiles so I can fire more missiles at their weapons. A lot of different ways to do this. Or get teleporter two so I can teleport my second group of borders quicker. A lot of different things we could do here. Heavy's not doing much anyway, that's true. Let's just tack three. Let's just do that. Maybe I won't have to use as many missiles if I can hack their missiles for longer. So I can get five. So I can go one, two, three, four, five. If you hate the ship, you died a lot trying to get a normal one. Yeah, the ship's ship. You have to basically learn how to board correctly with Clone Bay with this ship. It used to be one of my least favorites. It's still not one of the ones I enjoy playing, but it's stronger than I used to give it credit for. All right, so this is the one where we crew kill without doing too much hull damage. And we get really good reward. Engage the pirate. Clone bay and a missile, because every fucking ship has a clone bay and a goddamn missile. Alright. Hopefully we can use only one small bomb in their clone bay, and that's all we need, I hope. Oh, or we just... Get his missile offline, that's perfect. Um, do I even... Yeah, I'm gonna use one. Damn, the explosive replicator failed its first replicating attempt. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. We get missiles for it, though? Okay. Spent one, get two back. Not the worst. And you, yeah, we just gotta vent all you guys. I had to adjust my play a lot to increase my win rate on Fed C. What are the other tough boarding ships? Um. Mantis B is not bad, but like I, I I think I used to try to force guns onto boarding ships previously, and I think that caused me to have a less consistent win rate on certain boarding ships. And I still probably should consider buying teleporter more often than I do. Jesus Christ, okay.
really like this missile to fucking stop shooting me for a bajillion damage. Okay, good. Okay, he already got out. That he must have he must have hit that door like 80 times already. Okay, just do this. Trust in my explosive replicator. I think it's I think it failed a bunch of times again. And we got zero missiles back, okay. Well, the explosive replicator seems to be doing jack crap so far, but maybe I fired more missiles and it actually did something, I don't know. Feels like it's not been doing very well, though. <laughs> Did I buy all the missiles at that last door? I think I bought all but one, so I probably should have just bought all of them. TF Richards, if you want to use Cheat Engine, I recommend Googling it rather than trying to use a command in my chat. I don't have a command in my chat for Cheat Engine. Or somebody in chat can probably give you a link to find it. Okay, I'll take a free flak. It's the wrong type of flak, but I will take it. More slugs or NG sector? Oh man, I kind of hate boarding slugs. They're just so many crew, so many missiles, so many clone bays and heal bays and annoying events. You have explosive replicator, crew replicator, time to get to scrap replicator arm. Yes. I think I'm going to go NG here. Do I want stores for weapons or backup DNA bank or what do I want here? Actually, I have explosive replicator. I don't even have a slot for backup DNA bank unless I sell long range scanners. It's two to three stores in both these sectors. So do I want NG ship fights or slug ship fights? NG free stuff, NG empty jumps, slug, um, worrying radiation, Mm. Oh man, I do have NG. I think we can risk an empty MG. I kind of want to go to an empty NG. Well, an NG, because I'd rather get free stuff than freaking a bunch of really difficult slug free O2 hacks and worrying radiation events and all that. And I feel like NGs are easy to board, easier to board on, right? We'd have to take out their heal bay for the NG medbot dispersal, but I feel like they're, in general, easier to board. I could get third shield right now and go in the asteroid field. Should I do that? I have two guaranteed jumps of scrap before I could even see a store if I do this. So playing defensive seems pretty good. God, I hope this is not an auto assault ship in an asteroid field. Okay, it's not, but it's a crazy ship with fucking crazy offense, four crew and a clone bay. You know, the things I was trying to avoid by going to an NG sector. All right, what are you, what are you hacking? My fucking hacking, God damn it! Can I pull the pilot if I do this? Uh, he's stuck in that room. Okay, we kill the clone bay. Dodges. Oh my god, that volley was insanely strong. God, these fucking ships, man. These fucking ships. It doesn't matter how OP boarding is if every fucking ship has perfect weapons, missiles, just insane bullshit every single fucking fight. Jesus Christ. Hacking three shields, flak, first laser two. This guy could kill the goddamn boss with this fucking build. This is insane. I could kill the boss with that ship. 
That is just an insane offense. Nothing times out better for enemy than that shit, too. Yeah. I need to refresh these guys. I need to refresh my entire crew, basically. I stole mighty. Ah. Just think if we weren't forced to have artillery and I could have cloaking so I could cloak hack cycle. Just think, just think. Oh wait, but this ship is so good because boarding clone bay, it's so good. <sighs> yeah, it's fine. We only took like, I don't know, seven, eight damage there. Fine. Cloaking, his weapons are a little worse. Heal bay, five crew. Um, how do these weapons time out? 16, these, these time out actually pretty well together, but this one doesn't, so... I think I actually want to hack heal bay board heal bay here. I think that'll make this fight easier. That's dead. Um, oh. No, no repairs allowed. I don't even think I need to board again. I think these guys win against a bunch of... Strangely, uh... NGs and Zoltans. Maybe it's not strange, but... It seems strange to have that on a slug ship. Okay, good. All right, do I see a store? I do see a store, okay. Guys, it was really smart of them to put a ship killing artillery on a ship which usually doesn't want to kill enemy ships. I know, right? It's, I don't know why it's uh, this not working better, this combo. Let's put an unaimable giant cannon on our ship that we can't control when it fires or where it fires, along with our teleporter where we very specifically want to keep our crew alive while fighting other crew. What could possibly go wrong with that combo? I can't think of a single thing. Guys, I have this great idea for a ship. Great idea. Drone recovery armors, respirators. Okay, nothing I really want here. Um, probably repair and buy missiles, I guess. I'll buy... I feel like I've been using a few less missiles recently, so... Hmm. Probably keep the flak. We probably use flak heavy laser as our final weapon build if we don't find anything else. It's been kind of crazy how crap our weapon choices have been. Although I guess in early sector when we were getting our boarding build up, the weapons weren't terrible. Do I want more missiles and drone parts? Do I want more? I do want more. Do I want to spend scrap on them is the question. And the answer is not really. Uh, this ship was pitched to the Federation as an April Fool's joke. And then somebody accidentally emailed it to the uh, shipbuilding factory, and they're like, oh, well, we already built it, so, all right, leave it in the back of the hangar. Somebody know Surely nobody will ever actually use it. Get one fuel. I'm going to buy one drone part. Yeah, just a couple consumables. Ships paint like a pirate, so perhaps the design philosophy is to arm it like a stupid pirate. Yeah. Ignore it's a tarp. Okay, another store. 44 scrap. I could afford... <sighs> Backup DNA bank and sell long-range scanners. Oh, it's this. Okay, yes. And this will give us something to sell there, too. Beautiful. Free repair, reactor, drone reactor booster... Something to sell that I can't sell because I'm full of augments, damn it. <laughs> Actually, not that great. One, two, three, four, five, 
dive, actually. Oh, man. I actually have to not go to this jump if I want to not dive. Is it worth going to the store? This ship is one of those crappy cars GM built to hit fuel mileage standards. <laughs> um, I kind of want to skip store. I mean, what if there's a flak one? I could sell a flak two for a flak one. Yeah, I guess we go to the store. <sighs> Everything I hope that a store has, it continues to not have. Cannot affect the augment stack of explosive replicator, so I can't buy two of them and have infinite missiles. Sad times. More consumables, I guess. Uh, by the logic of, what, the pirate thing? This ship's to start with an ion blast and a Leto. This ship seems like a ship that some kid drew and the Federation was like, I think that kid may be on to something. Okay. I maxed out on crew, so offer him up. Nice, nice. Let's go one weapon so I can have flak online if I want it. Maybe even two so I can go flak heavy laser. Uh, I could get it. Have I seen two or three stores? I think two, so I guess this could be a store we could get without diving. So, empty NG is kind of what this has been turning into. They're just pirates. But we did get a decent amount of free stuff, so can't hate it. Can't hate it. <laughs> okay. Missile and clone bay every goddamn ship. Oh, backup battery. That's what I want to find from the damn store that I can't find. Goddamn backup battery. Okay, no level 3 clone bay at least. one missile. It's fine. We are at full health from the uh, something event. Oh, there we go! That's what we've been looking for. All these crappy free weapons. We finally got S tier free weapon. Finally. Finally. Let's go, man. Let's go. Now I don't mind investing in some weapons, potentially. Okay. All right. Although we still want the small bomb up. But like, probably that. Sure, let's have the ab ability to have burst laser, heavy laser with our small bomb online. Seems decent. We can still afford backup battery from the store. It's the main thing we want. Uh, do we refresh if we got a ship fight here? Yeah, we do. Or a fight where we're boarding, I should say. <laughs> we never found backup battery last run either? No, we did. We did. It was just really late. We don't get hacking on this ship, right? Can't get cloaking because artillery plus teleporter? Yeah, you can't get the good systems on this ship because you have stupid artillery taking up a slot. It was free halberd day earlier, too. It's true, we did get two free halberd beams on uh, Stealth B. It's true. I sold one to get shields, but... Fourth best weapon in the game. Uh, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody's probably offended by that ranking. Okay. Hey, I see you're full on crew. You want to buy some crew? Sir, uh, do you understand how that works? Yeah, yeah, I need some money. You want to, please, buy my crew. Alright, store. I go one, two, three, four. NG into NG. Not ideal, but, you know. We probably have enough to kill the boss now. Still, we are... I mean, we're getting these free weapons. I've still been, like, out of fuel this entire run. Okay, big giant missile. Finally, somebody with no clone bay. It's a fucking miracle. Oh my god. Ooh. 
Um, okay, if you can dodge nothing, this will work. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, now that should be safe. Most of Replicator's been doing work, though. It wasn't doing much work earlier in the run, but now it's doing work. Get Dolphin flipped on, sir. Dolphin flipped on. NG anti-boarding party, go. Um, your training is max, so there's no reason to really refresh your training. Just go finish him. No double reward. Still got two sectors. We're going to end up with a super yacht. Is that true? Are we only in sector six? Yeah. These slow, uh, slow, methodical, long fight boarding runs. I told you it's gonna be a six-hour day when we get when we get stealth B and a fairly challenging boarding ship to play. That's gonna be a long day of FTL. But hey, if we get these two ships knocked out today, oh man, that would be a good, good freaking day. Uh, how badly do I want to store? I feel like I want a mix of store and scrap games. Or I guess I could see both of them if I do that. One, two, three, four. Probably been in distress, I guess. Civilians wisely retreating. Name a more iconic combo, huh? There's our battery. Okay, there we go. There's our backup DNA bank. Okay. So, as much as I love my long range scanners, I think we sell them and get backup DNA bank to say we are just safe from, you know, losing our crew and all the things we're scared of anymore. So, thanks, long range scanners. You did great work. That's why all the fuel. I'm going to buy both the drone parts, too. And I'm going to think about this flak, too. Sells for 40. I'm going to not sell it yet. And I am going to check this other store because what if Flak 1 and we could have Flak 1, Burst Laser 2, Heavy Laser, and Small Bomb would be amazing. Okay, we got all of the augments we would ever want for a boarding run. When is the last time we played a Mantis ship? It's a great question. Since before our previous streak. So it's been a long time. A long ass time is the answer. Black 2 better than Black 1 has more than twice the projectiles. Oh my gosh. You're right. Why didn't I think of that? Agree to offer them up? <laughs> nice! That's twice now we gave away that Mantis for the free scrap. Nice. What if there's a Flak 1? That should be my catchphrase. Apart from F-U-F-T-L. Alright. Now I just want to get some weapon upgrades, some power. We're, we're totally boss ready. We are totally boss ready. Only thing that would make this better if I get a breach bomb is a breach two bombs have a small bomb. This, I think we're protected with clone bay and other stuff. Board the station. Smoldering NG research station. It's another one. I'm getting all the events I forget today. Smoldering NG research station. Clone bay protects us. Save yourself. The best scrap reward is actually. Drone schematic with low scrap, so save the drone schematic. So that's what we want if we get that option. Yeah, we just get jack crap, I guess. Okay, I do have backup battery now. I need to remember that. So I can I can go with one more weapon upgrade and have first flak heavy if we need. January 25th was the last time we played a Mantis ship. Wow, has it really been three months? It's crazy. Okay, good. I don't even have to mess with the auto assault. Did that just give us a map and I now see that this sector is empty except for one distress in one store? Wow, okay. Uh, thanks for that map, I guess. Nice NG map, I know. Alright, well this empty NG map is at least got a fight in it. Or this empty NG whatever. 
Uh, that's a lot of burst lasers that I can't hack through. Um, teleport into weapons. I want to fire these, and hopefully we can small bomb the heal bay. Make this fight go fast. Okay, good. That should end it before this fires, I hope. Beautiful, beautiful double reward too. Nice. I think the main reason boarding runs take so long is because clone bay is just better and the best way to play with clone bay teleporter is to refresh your crew every time and this adds a good 30 to 40 seconds every jump that you actually fight, that you board. You gotta get up for work so while you're off to bed, good luck with the rest of the run. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Crumpet. You have a great night. Level 3 medbay. Interesting choice for no HP Zeltons. Uh, that was level 1, right? Because I hit it with a single small bomb and it blew up. That was level 1. Hey! Okay! Alright. Well, right before store that we're going to sell it at. Finally, we didn't get five free hull damage to the face. I like that. Oh, it was level three because it got fire and burned down. Okay, all right. What do I care about here? A halberd beam? Oh my gosh. We can go burst, flak, heavy halberd and have just the most OP weapons with our boarding ship. Man, do I just sell small bomb and get halberd beam? I kind of want to sell our explosive replicator, get four of the best weapons in the game, I know, I guess we are a gunship after wall, off, after wall. Yeah, seems good to me. We board phase one, crew kill, and then just burn the boss down as quickly as possible. I love it. I like it a lot. Great job, explosive replicator and small bomb. Great job. It's time to upgrade. So we can go this. Um, I definitely need power. Um, do I want to get Halberd Beam online now, is the question. That guy is still playing for your sub. You can't play with your own money. How can you cancel his payment? What? <laughs> Seeing somebody gifted a sub, you want to cancel it? You just have to wait till the month runs out. Would have been worth keeping the small bomb? Nah. Especially when I'm going to do this. We have this is the option if we're not boarding. But we have the option now. Yeah, we can either be gun or boarding. We have the best of both worlds. He is paying for your sub for three months. Oh, yeah, just pay it forward by gifting somebody else a sub. If that's what you really want to do. Okay. If it really bugs you that somebody's paying for your sub, you can gift a sub to somebody else that's like you're subbing for yourself. Well, that was a fuck ton of dodges. Okay, game. Okay. Four shots at three shields and we hit once. Balanced. Fuck this And now game. we dodge nothing, it seems like. Okay, now we dodge nothing, so we took a little bit of damage. Right, that was annoying, but whatever. Whatever. You with your a million dodges. Do I want to train? I want to train weapons here. How are you doing on weapons? Terrible. I'd need to breach. If I can breach weapons, I'm training weapons. God, he keeps putting a freaking other weapon in front of our miss our laser there. No breach. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of slow training on weapons here. I won't be that slow. Your favorite weapon system in the game right here? Flak Halberd Heavy One with an extra burst two. Flak one for emphasis, that's right. Oh, 
I'll at least get to level um, level two weapons. Damn, no breach. No frickin' breach, man. Where's the breach? Yeah, I don't know that I have the patience to do the entire training thing, but I at least want to get to level two weapons here. Mainly because I keep refreshing this guy's training anyway, because I keep boarding with him. What do I want the breach for? If you breach an auto assault ship, an auto ship of any kind, they cannot repair. So you see how they're auto repairing their weapons right now? That would not happen if they, if we breach their weapons. That is a mechanic of auto assault ships. All right, we should be getting close. 15 more, okay. Okay, his missile's up now. We're not doing that anymore. All right, well, we, we'll hopefully get training now that we're a gunship in the next couple of fights. NG are abandoned. Well, let's not go abandoned, Seven. At least this isn't a forced... Well, Zoltan or abandoned. That would be the worst choice. All right. All right, no, no story yet. Let's go ahead and get a couple power. We're just a little power starved right now. Okay. Nice. All right, we got uh, we got damage stasis pod twice. I'll take it. I will take it. And we were gonna sell the, We're gonna sell the spire bomb. Sorry, everybody. We already have our crew killing build with boarding. We don't need a fire bomb to crew kill. And insane weapons that we need to get online. So, okay, so far, I do need a lot of scrap if I'm gonna get this other weapon and the other upgrades I need, so we do kind of need to start making some scrap here, game. I need 190 for weapons, about 70 for engines, and then a lot of power and stuff, so with this NG7, I don't know. I think I might dive. I think I might dive this sector. It gets me 7, 8, 9, 10. It gets me three extra jumps if I dive. 8, 9, 10. Without cloaking, a little scary, but I think it's fine. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, yeah, let's just get as many jumps as possible. Is this the third firebomb I'm selling for the day? It might just be. Some weapons offline, but not the missile. So I guess to fire another one. Oh Jesus! No fucking counterplay to that shit. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I need your fucking weapons to not be online. Ah uh, fucking hell! I can't get through. Fucking hell! Uh, do I need to run here? Let me okay, that's a good hit dodge. Him. Come on, man! Okay, uh... Jesus Christ, this fucking ship. I feel like I've said that a million times a day, too. Holy shit, this guy. That should be his final crew, right? Oh my god. Double missile, burst laser 2, 
charge laser, four shields. Oh my god. As much as I love a free flak, uh, I don't want to take 20 freaking damage for it. Especially when my weapons are already badass. Jesus, I can't... How am I supposed to deal with ships like this? With double fucking missiles, I hack their weapons, and they board me. How the fuck do I deal with shit like this? I need more dodges or something. I don't know... I don't know what I need to not be overwhelmed by, like, every ship... ...with any amount of missiles. God, it fucking sucks to have artillery and no goddamn... ...cloaking, man. It'd be easier to get the flak online. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather have a high scrap reward than a bonus flak there, but maybe... Maybe I can use the flak. Yeah, we have these two NGs and two Zeltons. We just... We suck versus enemy borders. We just horribly, horribly suck against them. Okay, that lets us go black flak burst. So maybe I can get through four shields better while hacking weapons with this. Oh no, I want to put the beam on my bar in case we get uh, carefully cut the ship out, I guess. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, dive is my plan. But I will change my plan if I see a store. Check my dive path. You don't think I can get 9, 10. I'll see. I'll see. What's that? This in 8. 8? Oh, but this is not in 7. That might be what you're talking about. This is in 5. Hmm. 3, 4, 5... Six, seven, dive. Um, I think I'm more likely to see another store this way. I probably don't dive now with us taking all that damage from double goddamn missiles and boarding. I love coming to an NG sector and getting double boarded by Mantis over and over. It's the best. One, two, one, two, three, four. That's my only way to not dive. Okay, now that I have a store, I think I do want to dive. So I want to be here in six. So six, five, four, three, two, one. I guess I have some options over that way. A combat drone and another weapon to sell if we need to. That's a pre-igniter. That's a pre-igniter. Do I care about pre-igniter? You know, I kind of want to sell Halberd and just go flak, flak, burst heavy now. Just because it's cheaper to get online. I actually have it online right now. And... It's just cheaper. I, that's the main reason. I can get a bunch of other upgrades that I still need. So... Inefficient, but it's fine. The build's, the build's done. Um... I'm repair once. We have enough fuel to get out. I have enough drone parts. One, two, three, four, five, dive. So let's at least repair three more times. Power, dodge, power. Let's hold off. What if this escort is a store with... What would I even want from another store? I don't even know. I could crew kill the boss without even boarding with this build? Potentially, yeah. We got more more than we need, but... Yeah, it's risky. Okay, I joined recovery on silk weapons. Uh, how many jumps do I have? One, two, three, four, five, and then we dive, and then we're out. Okay. All right. Uh, the free repair. Okay, that's pretty nice for the dive. Okay. Is this the same run? Yes, it is. 
Okay, NG sex. Thanks for free stuff. Ah, big giant missile and four shields, my favorite. If I do this, I stop his double mantis boarding at least. Missile down. Good fight. Good fight. All right, two more jumps before we're diving. I want to get level five engines and power, and then work on teleporter upgrades. I think. Yep, yeah, this is uh, end end of end uh, end of uh, sector seven, NG sector seven. And even though we're looking good, you can never count FTL out because we don't have cloaking. So if we fight some crazy Sector 8, I mean, we have, we're, and I'm, I've committed to a dive. So the plan for the dive is just hack weapons, shoot weapons, hope we dodge the ASB and run. That's the plan. We don't even plan on boarding. If we're on a dive, doesn't matter if the sector's been taken over by for a few jumps or about to be taken over. Uh, no, all that matters is if it's been taken over or not. If it's been taken over, it's always going to be an elite rebel that's really strong. Oh, well, this is the thing I was talking about if we get the, um, carefully cut the ship out. But they're just pirates. They're just pirates. Okay, so teleporter. That I don't need to power because we're just going to hack their weapons and run. Although this is not the dive ship yet. It's just an empty jump. Okay. Turn on artillery, because why not? Get ready to deal with the borders with these guys. That's why you can kind of dive back and forth between jumps forever. And if your ship, ship is strong enough, it won't. you won't be fighting stronger and stronger enemies. They actually kind of just recycle the same ship over and over once you've done it enough times. Or if it's a, the same jump you're going back and forth over and over to. Alright, moment of truth. Do we dodge the ASB or not? Looks like Fuck we do you, not. Man. Well, maybe I'll kill him just to assert dominance, though. We'll see. We'll see if we get hit again. Yeah, he dodged everything. Let's get out of here. Who cares about dominance or score? All right. Okay. Let's get level 202 so I don't have to vent my NG to repair this. Dive ships are the same every time you visit that beacon. So if we left here and came back, it'd be that same exact ship. There you go. That same exact... Probably had 10 power weapons or something insane because that's how dive ships work there. Purposefully over, overstatted for the sector they're in because it's supposed to be a punishment if you let the uh, let the fleet pursuit catch up to you. Whoops, I didn't vent you, sir. Sorry, you were supposed to be vented. No, no, you don't have to vent me. No, no, don't worry. This is my bad. No, please, please don't vent me. No, you must be vented. Was that G for teleporter? What's up, Money Tub? First time you've made it to a stream in about six months. Love every video on YouTube. Nice. I often have finished or I'm about to finish the stream by this time, so not surprising that you haven't caught a lot of them. But we've had two very long runs today. Very long giggity runs today. But if we can win with this, we will have Stealth B and Fed C down, which would be amazing. Let's hack piloting here and not board. These weapons are pretty good too. Close time out well. Hopefully we get some dodges.
Beautiful. I think I timed those weapons just right. I think everything got through. Damn, he's got level 3 cloaking. Uh, yeah, two of the worst ships today. If we win with this one, and again, never take anything for granted in FTL. Never assume a victory. 60 scrap, not bad. Alright, so the goal is power, teleporter max, and more power. Wait, I have no cloaking. I need I need shields three. Shields four. I need shields four or else face two of the boss. Oh man, I completely forgot. I've been talking about not having cloaking this whole time, but I forgot without cloaking I need to have fourth shield. So we need to we need to focus on fourth shield first. Yeah, yeah, I read your mind. I watch FTL, I read your mind. Alright, this is uh not enough time, but that's okay. We have boarding, so. What I need to not do too much of though is hole damage. Didn't get his clone bay down. Got it. Nice. All right, that should be the um, not enough time, sh not enough time answer there. Beautiful. What is the difference with boarding and the not enough time fights? If you don't crew kill on fights where there are ships in the background, then it'll say you don't have enough time to fully scrap the ship and you get a low reward. But if you do crew kill, even though it says there isn't time to salvage the enemy ship, your crew made off with a few nearby materials, you do get a better reward. So it's a high, high reward compared to low reward when you crew kill not enough time ship. Hopefully that answers your question. Do, 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 do. You never knew that? Yes. If you see ships in the background, you want to crew kill to not get shafted on your scrap reward. Alright. I'm. You know what? I'm really glad I didn't keep Halberd Beam now, because trying to get Halberd Beam and level 8 weapons and level 8 shields would have been impossible. There's no way we would have been able to make enough scrap to do all that. You thought it was just always the shaft. <laughs> A little less shafting if you crew kill. Less shafting. You always want left sha less shaft rather than more shafting, giggity. Unless you really like shafts, I guess. What, I'm just talking about shaft. We can dig it. Not even sure I'm winning this fight, actually. Uh, 2v1. Should be up before that fires. I can just hack it. Um, it would help if I'd actually use my damn hacking like I'm supposed to. Okay, I messed that up a bit. It's fine, it's fine. That is not a very good reward in Sector 8. Uh, <laughs> I would much rather have 60 scrap and no crappy weapon I'm never going to use than 20 scrap and freaking one of the worst two power. Well, it's good early game. Really bad late game. Doesn't even start fires that weapon. Based on this weapon system, this has been a hell of a Fed C run. Um, yeah, we had some we had some really strong enemies, but not been the worst run ever. That's true. Okay, repair station. All right, we want to get as many jumps with scrap as possible here, so I'm not going to go directly to the repair. My, my anti-boarding really is terrible. Really is terrible with a bunch of NGs and Zoltans.
Ooh. Okay, now you have no weapons, though. Oh, that's a fire. Rockman fighting the fire. You go in the shields. That'll do it. Good. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's a good dub reward. That was 110 scrap or something from a single jump. Which is amazing. That is what we needed. Now well, let's just get four shield and some power. And if I get a little bit more scrap, we can even potentially get um, level three teleporter and some more and like backup battery. If I can get that, that'd be nice. And we even have um, backup DNA bank. So if something goes bad with our crew dying, uh, it's not the end of the world. Bruh, venting. I know we're venting a lot. It's how you play boarding ships, man. If you want to play boarding ships at the top, you gotta, you gotta vent. You gotta vent, sad to say. Do I even want the repair station? If I get the repair station, I get to the base a little bit late, and I might have to dive, so... Definitely need at least level 2 piloting. I need to not have that go offline with one missile. I want the repair, but I, I think I have to skip it. It's a long vent to the top if you want to rock and roll, that's right. Right, I only have level 1 teleporter, or level 2, which is not ideal. And I don't have a great secondary boarding party. Um, but we don't necessarily have to have all of our weapons online, right? We're gonna hack missiles. Are we hacking missiles when I don't when we don't have cloaking? Level 2 is fine, it works inside cloaking, okay. I think we still hack missiles and then fire all of our entire volley at missiles, actually. No, we don't hack shields, we hack missiles with no cloaking. We always have to do that. Is it possible to hack shields and board missiles? Of course, you can do that, but it's not the best play when you have hacking and teleporter. Um, we're just a little low on power. I want to get one extra jump for a chance for a little extra power. I think I am going to take one extra jump. I should be able to jump and jump away to the boss if uh, if we get a bad hack. Yeah, and one extra jump for a little extra power would be worth. Jesus, just don't be another empty jump with no scrap gains. Okay. Yeah, that's annoying. Plenty of drone parts stuff. We have three plus three plus three plus one. That's ten shots. True, true. We do have a lot of shots. Shots, 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 shots. Yeah. All right, nice. Damn, now I don't have a safe place to jump away to, though, because they took off, took over both of these. That is unlucky. We need to hope he does not hack, teleporter, or hacking. Those are the two worst hacks when you're doing a boarding run. All right, so we could do the backup battery value point. That might be the best way to spend our scrap. And then I can value point somewhere else. Sensors, maybe. Uh, you've been watching my videos on YouTube for a while, mostly the viewerships. Just now you tried to get into FTL modding, and while you got hyperspace working, your game would crash on loading whenever you try to load the ship mod. Okay. Uh, maybe somebody on the Discord can help you. I'm not able to help you with that. Frag returns. Sensors value over power. Honestly, I think yes. 
I'm not gonna hack the art. What? Oh, you mean the enemy? Yes, if the enemy hacks the artillery, that'd be perfect. I have slug. Actually, I don't need the sensors. Exclamation point! Discord. That'll get you the Discord. Thank you, Pie Boy. Okay. Yeah, this lets me this lets me have this at level two, and then I get backup battery, the hacking, and the engines. I think this is best. Okay. All right. And let's do. We actually want the flax to get there earlier, so four, three, two, one is our weapons. All right. Please hack artillery, please. Please hack artillery. Not teleporter, not teleporter. Engine sucks, but it's not teleporter, so we'll take it. A lot of damn dodges. Got there in time, good. He's going to get at least one missile off, which is not ideal. Yeah. Fuck you, FDL. Fuck uh, you. Fires. Give me some fucking dodges, you shitty piece of shit game. Okay, let's get you out of here. You can't do anything in there anyway. You're not doing any good back there. Ah, Jesus. Came up just the worst time. Perfect. Rockman in the double fire. Let him into the double fire. I'll fight in the double fire. Uh, you go fix the home bay. You guys back. I think we're safe now, right? I think we're safe from damage. Um, oh. <laughs> I should really turn my clone bay on. Double fire. If only we had the double rock boarding. If only. Ah, oh, damn. I didn't mean to let that guy out. Oh, well. It's fine. All right. <laughs> only needed three shields. Oh, that's true. I can do that. All right, need just to kill a couple more dudes here. My poor crew getting cycled over and over. My poor crew. There. Oh, they won't die. <laughs> Oh, they won't die! They refuse to die in a fire. Hey, why don't you guys go ahead and die in a fire? But I don't want to die in a fire. Well, you know, it's just rude of you to not die in a fire, honestly, if you think about it. Now, the fire will be out. We can go finish them off with NGs. Uh, I don't want them to repair it, so I guess we're fighting them with NGs. Oh, the fire spread back there. That should do it. Is that GG on that? That's that. Good. All right. Go work on this. And his cloaking is up. It's fine. We'll refresh our crew. Sorry about refreshing you dudes. Oh, no. He, re he dodges enough anyway because of the... Uh, AI dodging or whatever. Oh, I did get cloaking down now. All right. 
All right, beautiful. Four damage, three damage for all crew dead. We have zone shield bypass. We have four shields for the uh, for the uh, drone phase. If TP, kill everyone. Yes. You only leave one alive if you don't have TP. Because if you kill everyone, you can insta-board phase two and kill their missiles and never take a missile phase two. That's the reason for that. 22 scrap. Can't do anything. All right. So now we hack shields. Uh, we insta-board on drone control uh, on uh, missiles. Dealing with the boarding drone is going to be a pain. Uh, let's do this so I can back up battery engines and uh, hacking. Insta board the missiles. Take zero missiles. Dot dot dot. Profit. Hopefully. Double rock plus firebomb. Best boarding. Yes, we've talked about that today. I think it's not even that good. Time to put a shot on a drone so we can ignore the damn border. It's not a bad idea. Um, since we want fires and shields, what I can do is fire one flak at drone control and everything else at shields. That's probably what I do. It's a good idea. Good idea. I like it. Good, drone down. Beautiful. Zero damage phase two, baby. Can't ask for anything more. Wow, that was surprisingly weak drone overcharge. Maybe his laser didn't time out with it for once, because it usually does. When you have four shields and TP, you leave their laser guy alive so they don't have the AI for phase two. Their laser never does any damage once the ion is killed. When you have four shields and TP, you leave their laser guy alive. Um, okay. But he's not alive for phase three, so I don't... You mean beam, not laser. Okay. All right. Good to know. Uh, what are we doing here? We're doing... I can get door value or sensor value. I guess door value. Or I get power. Let's do door value. So what we don't have is mind control counter. So... I don't want to do this. Uh, you go in hacking. If you go here... And after the mind control happens, we ins we hit enter and board with whoever is not mind controlled into missiles. I don't care if you attack that. I don't care if you attack that, and I can vent you out. They won't mind control our weapons or pilot. If you hit shields, I can vent you out of there eventually. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Follow him in case we need to run away. All right. Um, the mind control didn't happen, strangely. Well, there it is. Okay. Move back to better. It's fine. We do take one missile. Ugh. FTL. I just. I no don't fire know. Any sensors don't at fire sensors at least. We're through. Good frickin' doges. Okay, that wore off. Good. I don't even want to deal with mind control, so I'm gonna hit the mind control. Okay, it's level three though, so. That should be GG, boys. Boys, girls, and everyone else, we are GG timing. Three more. Three more damage. We'll even save our dudes. We'll even save our dudes. GG, Fetzy, and Stealth B down today. What a good day. What a good day of FTL. Two terrible ships down. 
two terrible ships down. And honestly, the Fetsy was a lot easier than Stealth B once we, you know, have improved our boarding micro and strategies. Good play today. Thank you. Honestly, I'm more proud of that Stealth B run because I feel like we survived on some really bad events. We were down to, what, like four health at one point? Let's check the score. Both both scores are about 5,200. Um, Sector 2 Pirate was terrible, but 438 free stuff scrap. Wow. Boarding free stuff. Talk about some crazy rewards. We were down to four on this ship as well. Oh, yeah, on that one fight right before a store, I think. Oh, man, my friends. I hope you all enjoyed. That was a uh, stressful day, but a good day. Feels good to get those ships down. Yeah, right about six hours of streaming. So, my friends, I'm going to call it a day there. Thank you all for hanging out. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the 50 bits, Psychic Spoon. Hope you all had fun. If there's anybody new, as I always say, hope you hit the follow, come join us again. We'll play some more FTL Hard Mode Pause on Thursday. And hey, we don't have to play Stealth B in this streak anymore. But I. Did we beat NGA, the one that killed our last streak? I think we did. Last streak, I think so. Tomorrow, play some WoW and chill out and recover from the salt. And, uh. As usual, thank you all for support. We had a nice little raid today. We had a, some gifted subs, um, regular subs, follows, all that amazing stuff, bits. You all make this possible, and I can't thank you all enough. And I hope you all have a great night. So until next time, peace out, happy gaming. I'll see you all tomorrow, Thursday, or whatever. Y'all rock. Later, my friends.